Hey guys, it's Donut the Explorer, and today we're back with another video. And today I have two special guests with me. We have Josh and we have Emily. They just finished their bodybuilding show, and it's obviously cheap meal time. So we're gonna try DD Donuts down in Ripsaw Garden. You excited? I'm beyond excited. So we've actually been waiting about six months to try this place. I've seen so many friends post up pictures and videos and everything. I've seen this apple fritter that's like the size of my body, I feel like. <laughs> Six months have been waiting. There's not really much else to say, so uh, I'm just ready to eat. Let's do it. All right, guys. Take a look at the video. Let us know what you think. Ladies first. Yes. Oh my Did you just cut a, a piece of the donut off? <laughs> you guys are gonna have to do it like that because you guys are gonna you you want to try. try every right. 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 You guys want to try it. It's fritter time. It's fritter time. All right, now we got a chainsaw to rent so we can just cut this. <laughs> this is right. Like, can you even pick this up? I don't know. Where, which knife was mine? You're going to be eating that for like Don't even worry about that. You know just that, right? cut. You know who you're talking to? Bro. You're talking to Pass this one. I will be miserable and I will be hunched over in a fetal position on the couch yeah. and I'll still be put, I'll still be putting <laughs> my fork in there. Like the secret spot. I don't know. Yes, you, you already know that. Oh, that's a nice touch. The cuts of There's apple. Cuts of apples apple in, in it. it. Well, that's really nicely done. I'm not an apple fan. Yeah, I'm not either. Like, I'm not a fan of apples. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
You don't mind spending three bucks a donut? Oh, 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 we've got some fillers in there. <laughs> well, yeah, it's raspberry. And this time, the fillers are a good thing, Wasn't right? I was expecting it. Look at that. Mm. Oh, boy. Just pull that whole piece off and we'll cut it. Oh, oh yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be nice. Good. I got a little critique on that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they, they, Where's... they filled from the bottom. They, they should have done that. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, actually, it's on the side, but it's whoever did the piping did the piping like at an angle. Here, you want to put us down somewhere and get yeah. it? Oh, she has a yeah, well, She flipped it. That's good. That filling is fantastic. Yeah. Oh, the richness is there. I think these two are going to be the Would it be better if they didn't have the chocolate? There's the chocolate raspberry. The chocolate, I didn't even notice the chocolate. You know what? That's good. At all. The chocolate just did. I the raspberry don't like power. chocolate. The raspberry. That's yeah. why I won't try that m, &M was it? Was it like overpowered by the raspberry or was it just real subtle chocolate? I again, I really just didn't taste any chocolate at all. You just got the dough. And I just nice got the dough, and I got That's a ton it. of raspberry. So to me, I loved it. Mm. Is it as luxurious as the banana coconut concoction? It's really good. Okay. The raspberry definitely oh, dominates the good. chocolate, but not in a bad way. Okay. No. You get the chocolate and the aftertaste more. Nice, that's a nice foreground. So, what would we say? Oh, this is really good, hold on. <laughs> oh, okay, when you go back for a second bite, you know the raspberry is working. It's working too. It's working, awesome. working, 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 yeah. The raspberry, it tastes more like natural raspberry versus Something you just like that syrupy kind that of raspberry flavor, like that synthetic too. flavor. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That tastes like real raspberry. That's oh, good. No. Like fresh versus you, you, like jelly as well. You forget, Jam. this is a gourmet donut shop. Yeah. So you're not getting, you're what, getting like, well, like food fillers yeah, inside. You're not gonna you're not get our Dunkin' Donut food. Correct. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. 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 So you're going to actually get. Like what KK fills with, you know. Yeah, that's why. You tried that? Seriously. share our thoughts on the best ones what we liked and you know kind of give our rating on how many donuts out of donuts we're gonna give the donuts so what did you guys think of DG for your first time they were awesome they were uh, much larger than I expected yes. I told Peter that uh, I thought I could probably down a dozen donuts and um, any regular donut place that might be possible but it's definitely not possible here so definitely picked a few good ones um, what do you think overwhelmed that's the only word that comes to mind was I'm just overwhelmed by the flavors and the experience entirely. I'm full, <laughs> to say the least. So uh, in theory, I think we had a couple of winners that we truly liked that we would definitely tell you, go down to DG Donuts and try these. For me, it was the cinnamon apple crumb. The thing was amazing. I mean, just picture a McDonald's apple pie. Um, Throw that thing in a microwave for 10 seconds and it'll literally just be just like that. What do you guys think of that particular donut? I agree completely. I, I feel like on one hand, it's not horrible to use McDonald's as an example when you're getting <laughs> gourmet donuts like this, but everybody knows a McDonald's apple pie. It's just one of those, it's one of those cheap, but just the most, it's, it's amazing. And if the filling really did have like that exact flavor to it on top of like the donut itself was just moist and just, it was just perfect texture, really good. Someone being not an Apple fan whatsoever it was probably one of my best favorite donuts I've had in my life. I'd agree. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. Definitely number one. Yeah. That was for me. What about you? Which one did you like? There's a couple other ones. We had what the um, the raspberry, raspberry beret, and then the other one's kind of a mouthful. The coconut banana coconut caramel bomb, I believe it was. Yeah. Uh, both those are kind of a toss up. They both were really good. The raspberry beret, it, it had more of that natural raspberry flavor to it. It didn't have like that artificial taste like a lot of you know, jelly-filled donuts tend to have. Uh, the the coconut, caramel, banana, bomb, whatever, whatever it was, was... Uh, well balanced. Yeah, it was just the perfect balanced donut between the flavor profiles, the texture. It, it just, it was probably the most complete of all three in my opinion. Um, I would go back and get another one 
any time. It was really good. Which one did you like better between the two? Honestly, the raspberry, um, same thing. It's coated with chocolate right on top. The chocolate's not overpowering. The raspberry's not overpowering. It's just a great combination of blends. And they get that chocolate mousse on top there too with the actual raspberry on top. So she got that, she Lucky. stole it from me, but uh, nice little touch on it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then obviously you came for the fritter. How did you like the fritter? I came for the fritter. That was my number one. It was amazing. And the thing's like, I don't know what you say, about 12 inches wide. It's, it's huge. Yeah, it was huge. Um, it's the, it was, the texture was great. It, it didn't, it was very soft. It was very moist, but the most important thing was to use some whole pieces of apple in there. And it wasn't just a little bit of apple. You had apple, you had raisins. There's probably an entire apple chopped up into that thing. Every single bite, you had a couple handfuls of pieces of apple. Just the flavor was just, every single bite, the flavor popped so much. It was, it was balanced well and just texture. A lot of times with apple fritters, I feel like they tend to get dried out. And just the fact that it could be sitting out for a little while since we picked them up and it just still had that moistness to it. It, it tastes like it came out, they, they just made it 10 minutes ago. It was really good. So in conclusion, I know for me with DG Donuts, I would always give them a four out of five donuts. I mean, they're so close to a five because they really are good donuts. They're well balanced as far as, you know, when you combine all the ingredients that they do, it, it's truly a gourmet donut shop. It is not a, you know, traditional franchise donut shops where everything's cookie cutter. You always know what you're gonna get. It's an experience when you go there. It's always fun to try different items there so for me it'll be a four out of five donuts how about for you i'm gonna go with a four out of five as well you know i don't get to do this quite as often as you do uh so i, I want to give them a little bit more but at the same time I, I think we give them a four out of five it gives them reason to keep on coming out with even better flavors and new creative ideas i mean like like you said it, it really truly is a gourmet donut the things that they do the toppings on, on some of these donuts it's such a step above and beyond uh, I, I just love that about it. So, I mean, if I give you a four out of five, that means you got a little more room to step it up for next time. So, I'm going to use that as the motivation for you guys to keep coming out with some really creative flavors. So, four out of five works for me. Yeah, I disagree with you guys. I would give them a three out of five, but I'm more of a simplistic donut fan. So, the more simple, the more glazed, just a lot of toppings overwhelms me, and that's just, I'm not into those types of flavors. So, that's more of a three out of five for me. We're leaving her home next time. <laughs> Josh, Emily, thank you guys for coming out. I appreciate you having donuts with me this Saturday morning. And, you know, thank you. And we definitely got to do this again. It was definitely fun. I truly enjoyed it. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Thank you for having us. This was, uh, it was delicious. It was fun. I'm down anytime you want. All right, guys. Please do not forget to like, obviously, the video and subscribe to the page. Thank you.